Okay, so uh, now the time is um, 8.30 p.m. in Japan, uh, 11.30 uh, universal time. So uh, welcome to the, the September Equinox version of the Astronomy Day in schools. So uh, uh, how are you? Uh, so uh, please enjoy today's program. So first, uh, I would like to say hello to all of you. Uh, so please watch the pre-recorded my greetings, okay? It's recording. Uh, yes, yes, uh, to make it compact. <laughs> okay. Hi, I am Tonka, Naik Japan, and a co-chair of the Astronomy Day in School project. Welcome to the Astronomy Day in the School uh, live program uh, for the September Equinox 2022. Uh, autumnal Equinox for the Northern Latitudes, uh, Vernal Equinox for the Southern Latitudes, and Suns crossing the Zenith for the Equator Zone. Paolo Bretones and I are the co-chairs of the project, uh, which is run with the help of many colleagues and the contributors. I would like to say the greatest thank you. The project is under the Commission C1 of Astronomy Education and the Development of the IAU, International Astronomical Union. So the project is supported by the Commission C1, the Division C of Education, Outreach and Heritage, and the IAU. Um, we, uh, the project team, appreciate their continuous support. The project has a website uh, waiting for the contributions from you. Please register your short videos and photos here. This website is kindly maintained by NARIT, National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand. And I would like to say thank you very much. Today, a live program introduces practices from six countries, from east to west, Japan, Thailand, Iran, Bulgaria, Romania, and Egypt, as the Earth rotates on its axis. Uh, we have only 90 minutes for today's uh, live program, so I am terribly sorry for the time slot is not sufficient for each country. Uh, please register your full video and photo materials to the Astronomy Day in Schools website. Along with the video archive of the live program, the project team will arrange the repository of the contributions. But please give us some time to prepare the repository. Okay, uh, before starting the presentation, greetings from the co-chair of the project, Paolo Bretones, and the president of the Commission C1 of the IAU, uh, Boon Raksa, welcome you. Okay, so Paolo, here. Yes, thank you very much. I'm, you know, I'm very, very happy because uh, to be here together. And uh, we have seen in South Korea with my friends from, from Iran, with, uh, with Tomita and many others uh, talking about this project, you know. But uh, I'm very happy because now we have so many people here, right? Nah? And uh, I, I, no words to say that I'm very, very happy. So uh, good morning for us from Brazil and good night for every one of us uh, that you are in, in other countries. Thank you very, very much. I'm very happy again. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paolo. Uh, so Boom Raksa, uh, please okay. have All your right, good friends. time. Yeah, thanks, uh, Tomita. So my ADIS friends, uh, on behalf of the IAU Commission C1, I would like to welcome all of you to the September Equinox ADIS meeting, right? 
as you know that uh, this year uh, September equinox occurs on the 23rd of September when the sun crosses the celestial equator and heading southward. And the uh, duration of the night and day are equal, right? So this marking the beginning of autumn, as Tomita has mentioned, in the northern hemisphere and the beginning of spring in the southern hemisphere. On this day, uh, many countries uh, celebrate the change of the season by performing several activities especially some astronomical as observations in schools where school students are measuring, for example, the direction of the sunrise and the sunset, a meridian transit of the sun, etc. And but uh, also several countries recognize uh, equinoxes and solstices as a uh, cultural e events. Yeah, for example, in Iranian calendar, the September equinox marks the first day of Libla. And uh, in Japan, the autumnal equinox is one of public holiday, if I understand correctly. Okay, so yes. I'm very happy <laughs> to see the activities organized uh, in several countries to celebrate the September equinox. And I hope that uh, ADIS would be uh, important platform to bring us together to share the happy moment and the importance of this astronomical event. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vim uh, Yes, so before starting the presentation, so I will see uh, many students today uh, from Romania, uh, from Japan, or, um, okay, so, um, there are so many people here now, so uh, the time is not sufficient for each person to say hello. But first of all, so uh, the students from Volter, okay, so if my pronunciation is not correct, so I'm sorry, please forgive me. Wow, so so thank you very much for so coming to uh, this program. <laughs> Maybe you are from Romania. Okay, thank you very much. And so I can see some students from uh, National College, Emil Rakovita. Maybe you are also from Romania, is it right? Okay, thank you very much. So, um, from uh, the name of Groza David. So are you students? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. And maybe uh Oshino sensei. Ah, Nakashibes High School students. Wow, so you you're here. <laughs> thank you very much. So uh they are Japanese students, uh, high school students. Okay, so the time is very limited. So uh, is it all right to start the presentation? So uh, at the end of the program, so we, I will take the group photo. So please uh, uh, wait uh, uh, in 90 minutes, okay? Anyway, so um, the first round is from Japan and next Thailand, Thailand from uh, Komsan. So please uh, prepare your presentation uh, in about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so before that, so I will introduce uh, six presentations from Japan. So, uh, and two of the, the presentations, uh, the teachers are here, uh, uh, Oshino, uh, Mr. Oshino and uh, 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 Mr. Kishimoto are here. So anyway, the first uh, presentation is the the primary school activity, primary school activity. So uh, the video consists of three parts. Uh, the traditional um, uh, tradition in the autumnal equinox and uh, the Eratosthenes experiment by fifth graders, six, six, nine to 10 years old. 
Okay, so anyway, please enjoy the video. Okay. Okay. Okay, so please wait a minute. <laughs> there are so many files here. <laughs> okay. Here. So the video has the English subtitle. Shibunohiniwa,家族でお墓参りや寺で開かれる悲願園に行く方もいます。お墓参りや仏壇周りの掃除をしたりします。周分の日のお供え物といえばおはぎが定番です。どうしてそのような文化があるかというと、おはぎに使われている小豆には魔除けの力があると信じられているからです。では、おはぎはなぜおはぎと
Okay. I find it. The teacher, Mr. Kotaka, uh, explains uh, in Japanese, but the English subtitles uh, added. Okay, so you can understand and enjoy the video. シュ子供たちには写真の撮影を提案しました。提出したのは1名でしたが、夕日や朝日を見たのは全体の3分の2ほどの子供たちでした。こちらは私が学校で撮影した夕日です。天気が悪く、天気に悩まされました。3年生のリカの授業です。3枚の写真を比べて太陽の沈み方の違いを考えました。これはみんなに考えを説明しているところです。2クラスで授業をしています。どちらのクラスからも同じような考えが出ました。問題は3枚の写真を比べて太陽の沈み方を考えようです。子供たちの考えとしては太陽の高さに注目したもの、太陽の明るさに注目したもの、太陽の沈む方位に注目したものの3つがありました。結論としては太陽の沈む場所は日
uh, we do, do not have so much uh, fine days. So uh, many days uh, it is cloudy or rainy. So it's not so easy to take the the old sky photo all day. But this is just an example. So uh, so we have many good relationship between schools and the science center and the planetarium. So sometimes the planetarium staff visit school and the school students uh, frequently visit um, the planetarium and the science center. So this is um, one of the, the the good relationship between the, the social um, uh, capital and the sc school environment. Okay, so next one is uh, the manual GPS. So Kishimoto Sensei, so uh, so uh, Mr. Kishimoto, a high school teacher, uh, devises a very nice manual GPS. So anyway, so enjoy the manual GPS video. Mr. Hiroshi Kishimoto, a high school science teacher in Japan, introduced us a very interesting teaching material. It goes beyond the Eratosthenes experiment, finding longitude as well as, well as latitude. We can call it manual GPS. This is a tool that Mr. Kishimoto prepared. Prepare the horizontal board, the gnomon is a carpenter's tool to stand the lumber vertically. Here, verticalizer. So far, this is exactly the same as the Eratosthenes experiment. And the clock. The longitude difference from the la mer standard meridian is determined by the difference in time between the noon by the clock and the sun passing the local sky meridian. Of course, the equation of time was taken into account. This is what Mr. Kishimoto actually recorded. Since the autumnal equinox day was not a clear day, it was observed on the following day. At the equ autumnal equinox, the trajectory of the tip of the Norman shadow is a straight line. You can see here. Connecting the location of the Norman and the straight line trajectory with the perpendicular line. You can see here the perpendicular line. We can obtain the exact length of the shadow when the shadow was the shortest. The accuracy of latitude measurement of the Eratosthenes experiment increases. At the same time, the time of the moment was accurately determined here by interpolating of uh, recording dots, which was used to determine the longitude. Thus, the latitude and the longitude were obtained and they agreed with the true GPS value within about 1% accuracy. Since the Earth is not a perfect sphere, the coordinate system we use in our daily life is a little different from the coordinate system obtained astronomically. It will be interesting to see if we can achieve enough accuracy to see such differences. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, Mr. Kishimoto, a uh, high school teacher reported. So we have small but some errors uh, for the measurement. So we always have errors, but the error is the starting point for active learning. So what causes the error? So what can we do to reduce the error? So uh, this is the point uh, we can think and we can have the next uh, to go to the next step. So error is not just an error. Error is the 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 best thing for the science education. So Mr. Kishimoto is uh, very good at uh, using the error as the teaching material. 
Okay, so uh, the next one is the, the another um, uh, uh, high school teacher, uh, Oshino Sensei. Okay, Nakash. Uh, okay. Yeah, so let's enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Oshi. I teach at Nakashibe High School in Hokkaido, Japan. Uh, I am an uh, advisor of the Mama Schools Association of Astronomy Study. It's a great honor to meet you all. Our Schools Association of Astronomy Study has a long history spanning several decades, but it has been inactive for several years. Today, I would like to uh, briefly introduce our association. Hello! My name is Milk Chocolate. I am the mascot character of the Association of Astronomy Study. Today, I will introduce our this association myself. First, let me introduce our activities. Our school has an astronomy dome. Inside the dome, we have a 20 cm reflecting telescope. This is how we observe celestial objects. Next, I will introduce our research activities. We are presenting our research activities. We are discussing the availability of our school as an available space. Wow, look at this! It's so beautiful! We are studying various planet rooms. Milk Choco, thanks for explaining. Yeah! I hope you are interested in our research association. I have been appointed to this school from this school year. In line with this, our association has resumed in its activities from this school year. We are looking forward to conducting joint research and observation with you. Thank you for listening. Bye! Yes, um, so this is what uh, we, our team, uh, would like to uh, call you the joint research uh, crossing over the national boundary. So, for example, the uh, measuring the parallax uh, to determine the distance to the, the astronomical object. So we need international network. So Japan is very small, but uh, connecting the observation from Iran from Romania, from Thailand, from Bulgaria, in, uh, and from Japan, we can combine the data and uh, make the good uh, analysis about the parallax measurements. Okay, so this is just an example. So uh, please uh, propose the, the joint research activity, student-student uh, uh, network activity. Okay, so the final presentation is from the dark sky. Uh, uh, observatory. Okay, so let's enjoy the, the final presentation. Okay. Okay, so please wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is the last one. Okay. In Ibarra City, Okayama, most of the pupils in the fourth grade of elementary schools, nine to 10 years old, visit Bisei Astronomical Observatory, which is a public observatory in the rural area of Ibarra City once a year. The observatory is equipped with a one meter telescope. Among them, pupils of Bisei Elementary School near Bisei Astronomical Observatory, visit the observatory in the evening. They enjoy watching objects through the one meter telescope under the dark sky preserved by the light pollution prevention ordinance. Pupils of other elementary schools visit the observatory in the daytime and watch first magnitude stars through the telescope. They also study the structure of the universe 
with the 3D simulation software Mitaka, developed by 4D2U project and National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Thank you very much from the International Dark Sky Community, Bisei Town, Ibarra Okay, so uh, first of all, so I'm sorry, so I, we don't have enough time to explain in detail, but so we have many big telescopes uh, in rural area and, and in big cities. And uh, as explained, the, some schools have the astronomy dome on the, on the top of the building. So we have many telescopes. So we can have the, the, the basis for the re joint research project internationally. So please propose so any uh, joint uh, research project. So we can uh, go forward uh, to, to the, the research project together. So uh, let, let's enjoy our project. Okay, so anyway, these are the presentations from Japan. So if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, uh, we are very happy, we are very welcome to receive. Okay, so do you have any comments? Okay. Just wanted to say that uh, those, you know, activities are all was, you know, fantastic and beautiful thanks to you and our Japanese colleagues. So congratulations, it was fantastic. And I hope to uh, see those kind of uh, activities more in near future, including other students around the world, more countries and more schools. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. あの、日本の高校生の皆様聞き取れたでしょうか。あの、え、ぜひあの今後協力できればと思いますと、え、イランの先生からのお話でした。え、今のイランの先生はあの天文天文台にお勤めですが、英語の先生でもある先生です。あ
the highest mountain of Thailand, uh, Doi in uh, if you know, uh, if you travel up there. Um, that's this the very dark area and very nice guy to observe. Uh -huh. And base, basically, the base of this, this office observatory for the research. Uh, uh -huh. And the next one, the biggest uh, radio telescope in Southeast Asia too, 40 meter. Yes, that is in Chiang Mai too. Uh, this is the, the new, very new facility of us. Uh -huh. And uh, start uh, the first slide already about this year. Yes, I'm not sure the month. <laughs> and we now have only in Thailand facility, we have the network. Uh, I, I, around the world, uh, this is the robotic telescope. Yeah, that uh, can uh, can using by via the the website and connect it and command it to what uh, what will you like to observe. That's one from USA, Chile, Spain, Australia, China, and including in. And the network of telescope in Thailand too. Uh, this is our telescope, uh, our that uh, robotic telescope around the world. And not only the network around the world, we have the regional observatory for the public, uh, not for the research and scientific only. We uh, we running the program with the the net the outreach program with the public across the country, uh, the northern one at the Chiang Mai, uh, the southern one at the Songkhla province, uh, at the central, around the central Chaishung uh, Sao province, Nakhon Rajasima, and the next, uh, the next regional observatory at the Khon Gen. Yes, not, uh, not completed. <laughs> and, uh, Peace and Long not completed too. Will be will be built uh, soonly. So at the uh, at the headquarter we call the Princess Sit Rinthorn Esso Park, or you can call it, uh, Thai Esso Park. Uh, at the at our uh, headquarter we it's considered of it's considered of the astronomy exhibition as at there. Um, it's more than modern uh exhibition uh and interactive uh to 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 play and understand about the astronomy yeah and we have the the most new i think very new in about uh digital food home and we have uh update and Create the new software for uh, Udom operation, and uh, we have the observatory to uh, for the public too at the Astro Park. Yeah. And this is our regional observatory across the country. The the left the left up. Uh, this is the Hon Raja Sima. The right up this. Uh, uh, the bottom left, this is Songkhla, Southern Thailand, and the right uh, bottom, this is Hong Kong, uh, will be open next year. All right, that's this, our mission, yeah, our mission, this is research, technology development, outreach, and public engagement, and, and uh, uh, build the network around the world. Uh, for the outreach, we have um, we separate the target group for for four target. Uh, this is teachers, youths, general public, and emerging astronomers, right? Um, that you can see, we running many many programs, just as the training with the teacher and the program for the camp for youths. Uh, and public event for general pu general public and some of uh, amateur astronomers. That's uh, that's we have the big uh, network and the big connection 
uh, in across the country. She says the teachers, we have uh, three level of uh, the teacher training, the beginning level, the, sec the second in intermediate level and advanced level in different, uh, the basics uh, focus on the basic astronomy and inspire teacher to, to use the activities in astronomy uh, to study in science or um, inspire them to observe the night sky and um, and the, uh, the celestial object. And the second one intermediate, we uh, focus on the observation, the night observation skills and try to give them about the skill to to, to do the basic project at, in astronomy, uh, like uh, the basic research. And the last one, the advanced project, S1 program that focus on uh, astronomy project only and try and uh, try to train teacher to be uh, to be the advisor to uh, and and go back to school and running the project with uh, their school uh, their students. Yes, uh, not only for not only for um, teacher we running the program with the this queue around the country too. Uh, that is the astronomical learning opportunity distributing project. That's all we call uh, the Dobsonian, Teles Dobsonian Telescope for school. We give them uh, the big, the 10 inches telescope for school. Yes, um, not, not every school in Thailand uh, give from us only select selected school uh -huh. by they just they must the proposal to us and we will select them and to sure that uh they, they will bring it to use for nice sky observe or make for make a many activity in school uh -huh. consists of uh the media the the astronomical media in paper right uh booklets or maybe things and dial in paper craft uh -huh, as well and the, the the new very new very new things very new very new project that is the uh, planetarium for school we i uh, gave this we bring the the system of planetarium by using by using the part paper cardboard yeah built from the paper cardboard uh, with the geometry system and uh, we train them how to build it and how to set up uh, the project inside and connect with the stellarium yeah uh, this is free uh, uh, freeware yeah and uh, teach and train them how to uh, how to teach students that in in the planetarium, right? Uh huh. This is our social media. We have uh, five channel and very big followers. That is uh, the Facebook. Uh -huh. Facebook is very impact in Thailand. Um, that is. 623,000 followers for the main Facebook fan page. This is the Narit, right? And the second one, the YouTube, uh -huh, we have uh, 13.5,000 subscribe. And uh, Twitter, uh, uh what is instagram <laughs> and the last one we have at uh, the tiktok too right that's mean we can running a activities and everything and promote the activity by using the facebook as well or um or youtube or twitter right this is the num the, this is the big number of us narrate 
uh, and follow <laughs> following Thai letter. You can you can search and uh, follow us at the Facebook fan page, right? Uh, so not only the main that is that is the main fan fan page in, on Facebook of Narit. We have another uh, network in Facebook. This is the Thai Astronomy Teacher Network. Yeah, uh, the number that is four point six thousand, four point six thousand members. Oh, <laughs> it's almost school in Thailand in in astronomy in here. This is the the network in Facebook. We will share how we act. Just be running the activities. What what happened? What what they do? Uh, uh huh. And another one. This is the network for Dobsonian Telescope for School Network that we give. Uh, the Dobsonian for School. And the last one. Uh, we call NAS, NAS, it stands for Narit Astronomical Society Network. That's the, the networks in astronomy club in school, right? Uh, we invite them to join us because of, um, at firstly, we running the, the activity by using the cam only and we uh, change a bit to run on online, right? In uh, as we meet in Thailand, we can running by using this um, the Facebook and promote it uh, by the Facebook. In ninety in two thousand nineteen, we run in first first year we run the program. Yes, that's uh, that happened. A lot <laughs> that's happened a lot uh the activities in and uh, in that year uh the most popular is the lecture and astronomy topic and and the activity that uh very surprise very surprised us that is the night observation the big number the night observation by using telescope and astronomy exhibition too uh, the same number and the late of uh the late of 2019 not covid already uh we promote to uh running the program annular solar eclipse but not in thailand but in thailand only partial solar eclipse uh and promote them to to do the small project distant measurement of the earth by using the hippocus, uh, by using uh, solar eclipse method, by the uh, hippocus method or parallax method with uh, the different area across the country. And uh, quite hard a bit because of we just, we just uh, make a delay observation and compare by using the parallax just as um, the north uh, not the not the central and the southern as the same uh we be can be use it uh-huh and 2020 the covid 19 situation uh the annual solar eclipse on june uh 21st that's in thailand partial solar cape again and this time is up this time is for uh this in rainy season in Thailand, so hardly to observe. And that day we, we cannot observe. Uh, we, we promote them to find the earth side by using the eclipse uh, all uh, at the same. And the big things we do, we, we do on December, this is the great conjunction on December 20 to 20. Uh, oh, so this is this. Oh, sorry. This is the this is the picture from uh school to observe the Saturn and Jupiter asteroid. And 2020 first, we run with the astronomy in the school. With we have 
we have the topic and the theme. We start the topic and the theme this day. That is uh, Eratosthenes to find the radius of the Earth. Yes. Um, we, have, we have to experiment them, uh, have the method to submit, yeah, set up the material, the chart, and teach them how to, to set up and how to observe and record with the, the pole uh, or look like the sundial uh -huh, uh, past the meridian, right? How high of the pole and length of the shadow uh, and then bring it to um, the, yeah. And finding the coordinate bit by using the Google map latitude and longitude and and very exciting things. This is the photo contest we have. Uh, we suggest for, we separate for two, uh, two photo contests, scientific photo and creativity photo. Uh -huh. And submit us by uh, Google Forms. This is, um, the scientific photo and creativity photo happen in our group already. And 2022, we changed the topic, not the same. Change to be moon phase challenge. Uh -huh. um, moon phase challenge between February until April. Uh -huh. This is like the competition and uh, and school and student and the club and teacher trying to observe the sun every night, but but the but the sun, but the moon changes a bit in every day, right? Uh, we have challenge for we have two challenges. The first one challenge of close up moon by using telescope with a camera or cell phone, right? And this is the, the most, the best challenge in Go Award. Uh, they, can, they can, they can took the photo of moon as well, um, except only, only one night cannot because of the rainy everywhere in Thailand. Yeah, uh -huh. and this, Second one, challenge of the moon with, with landscape by using cell phone or uh, camera. This is the, the very nice one. Can take a, every day, right? Uh -huh. and, and at the June of 24 to uh, 25, we, we have to campaign Planet Herod and promote them to have to capture to take a photo at very early early morning as well uh, to all of the planets including the moon at the morning right this is the photo from uh, our network we are very very beautiful uh -huh. and this year we we running a bit at the, I'm not sure in equinox or in equinox, right? Um, Ilatosinis experiment too. Uh, uh -huh. But in Thailand, we we cannot we can we cannot run the program with the sources or uh, the equinox because of just as the sun the spring equinox that. That's the the time for some for summer or some school have the final examination, uh huh. And this time, uh, final examination too, right? <laughs> the the sources not match our calendar. That we we can use only about uh, the phenomena in astronomy or decree the the new topic or, uh. To, to running the program, right? And this is our mention to school uh, do in this year, but uh, they not 
complete to submit us for the data, right? Uh, we hope the activity in astronomy camp or in school, not only the activities uh, to learning about uh, the science, the scientific in astronomy, we try uh, to from from small X3 project to the astronomy project in in the future, just as I let us in this experiment, uh, this sun measurement by using apparent side of of the, everything uh, in the sky and measure how high and deep and depth of moon crater. Uh -huh. Measuring the Earth side by using lunar eclipse or, uh, you know, by using the parallax that um, Tomita told us before. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, th thank you, Kom san. So uh, we have a little time left, but uh, so so anyway, uh, one question from my from me. So uh, can Japanese students or other countries students uh, submit or uh, submit participate or... in the the campaign organized by Narit? Uh, is it uh, only limited within your country, or Japanese students can uh, submit? Uh, photos or uh, the records to your campaign? Yeah. Uh, firstly, our program run in Thai version, uh, including the, the Google form submission. But mm -hmm. the future, I will try to to change a bit to uh, to for global and air and everyone can join. Uh -huh. I, I would like to try them. Um, we have, it for, for Japanese students, we have some connection uh -huh. um, by the NOJ or Hydrophy oh, yes. Observatory that uh, we, we was running the project at about what? Yes, by using the lunar eclipse parallax, uh huh, that's from Japan and and Thailand, but not for the public or as well. Okay, okay, only, okay. Only connection okay. in the future will be. But at least we uh we have the connection here today. So yeah, uh, yeah. If, if we want to make the joint research for the parallax or or other research projects so we can send email each other to set up the right. new joint uh, research project so this is a great uh, chance for all of us okay so thank you very much so uh,中標別高校の皆さんあのプラネタリウムの話ありましたけど何か質問やコメントありますか <laughs> Hi. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, the carbon, the planetarium, uh, uh, the ha handmade, not handmade, but the movable planetarium system is very interesting because the, the many uh, Japanese high school students are interested in this kind of uh, planetarium system. So uh, uh, I'm now calling the, the, the the high school students to comment. どこに中標津高校の皆さんよろしいですか。うちのプラネタリウムの方がいっぱいあるとかそういうのがあれば。いや、特にはあのあのうちとは全く違う作り方をしていたので、それはすごい興味深いなと思ってて。え、どんな作
is now asking that um, the planetarium uh, they constructed uh, was a little smaller, smaller than the Narita version. So making so many bigger version of planetarium, so the students want to know the tips, how to construct, how to maintain, how to arrange the planetarium system. <laughs> Okay, so if you have some manual or if you have some comments and uh, advice, so please send the students later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. So, uh, thank, thank you for the interesting uh, presentation. Uh, I'm a teacher of Nakasubi High School. Uh, uh, we are now uh now we are doing a conversion study of handmade planetarium so uh we would love to collaborate uh, with you yeah okay uh tomita san yeah we distribute uh the mobile handmade planetarium to already to many school in mm. thailand so we are very pleased to have the collaboration with japan okay. yeah, to have the school to have the mobile planetarium like this uh yes yes thank you very much so not just uh how to construct a mobile planetarium but uh, if we can collect the feedback uh after using the planetarium so we we'll do the educational research. So yeah, yeah. yes, the not just the planetarium, but uh, having the planetarium has great impact in astronomy education, we believe. But we can get the feedback from students, feedback from teachers, feedback from parents, or feedback from other stakeholders. So wow, so the pla mobile planetarium was so uh, impact uh, in education. So this is just an example. So uh, we are looking forward to the, the the skills and the knowledge about the planetarium, uh, mobile planetarium. Okay, so uh, this is uh, one of the jo <laughs> joint yeah, research Yeah, we are program. very happy to, <laughs> yes, to yes. cooperate. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so anyway, so um, I think uh, you all have some other questions but the time is limited so uh, i'm very sorry so the next country is iran so hossein are you all right to present uh oh, okay uh, hossein you are here hi to all hi and uh, dear Tomita, i send you a photo uh, can you share the photo okay okay so please wait a minute uh about the, uh, the, 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 sorry, sorry, the great sunset photo. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Wait a minute. Mm. Okay. Uh, my PC is a little slow. <laughs> Problem. Yeah, okay, no problem, no problem. I received a great photo from you. Okay, very nice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah. impressive. So, uh, can you see the photo of the sunset you kindly sent me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Too. Uh, thank you to all. Uh, thank you to my friend. I'm so happy because uh, the uh, participant uh, is very increased, and also students. Uh, they are in this uh, meeting. Uh, two months ago, uh, our team uh, with Tomita and Polo and another person designed a project for a student and a teacher that uh, find the direction by the sunset and sunrise uh, in different latitude in the world. And uh, me and uh, my team uh, for three weeks, one week before uh, Equinox and one week after Equinox, we go to the uh, near the beach 
we are uh, we are placed in uh, south of Iran near Persian Gulf, and uh, you can see uh, a horse and a person with a blade. Uh, is uh, the name of this horse is Rash, and the name of this person is uh, Rostam. Uh, Rostam is a famous uh, hero man in historical person in, in Iran, and uh, we combine the, the nature, culture, and the sky. I, in this picture, uh, my friend Parham uh, took a photo one hour before sunset, and we take a photo a lot. So if you see uh, the uh, the rose of the sun, you can see the you can uh, find the, your latitude. In different latitude, uh, the rose of the sun is different, and the slope is different. It's very interesting. And we want to introduce this picture to uh, all students, and it's uh, amazing. Uh, and uh, another uh, another uh, activity is uh, about uh, today. You know, today in Iran is a famous celebration and a historical uh, celebration. The name is Mehrgan. Uh, Mehrgan. Uh, like Noruz, like Kirgan, like Mergan. In the past, Iranians have uh, four famous celebrations. They know about equinox and solstice. For example, uh, in the calendar of uh, historical Iranian, they celebrate uh, at the uh, first of the equinox. And because the, the climate is changed and the weather is rainy, and for them is a very uh, important uh, day. Uh, another, because I want to consider the time, uh, I, at the end of my word, I want to say thank you to all to my students in different provinces in Iran. We have, uh, sorry to say that, we have a big problem in Iran about the internet, and my students send a lot of picture and video, but uh, I want to apologize uh, for, for, for them, and we can uh, show all of the clip and picture uh, just for internet. And uh, thank you, uh, uh, Tomita, uh, for giving me a time to share this uh, photo. And uh, I'm so hope in the future we have an activity school in the world. Uh, at the end, my colleague in Iran, uh, Mahdi Rokni, want to speak. Uh, thank you, Tomita. And Mahdi, if you want, you can speak to audience. Mahdi, come. OK. Um... Hello, thank you, Hossein. Uh, fantastic photo. It's just, uh, you know, behind me a photo. They are too close. The statue and you know my the picture uh, behind me. Uh, I just uh, wanted to uh, say that I am greatly happy to see these beautiful faces in this meeting. You know, all the students around the world. So. Um, I am really, really happy and delighted to be here. And uh, as an um, associate member of, uh, you know, working group of astronomy education and the manager of SINA, Students International Network for Astronomy, um, I, I just want to mention that the importance of what you have been doing uh, is on doubt and uh, never, never forget the beauty of what you've been doing and the importance of that and continue what you're doing because uh, so far we have started, you know, uh, these activities separately in Thailand, in Japan, in Iran, uh, in Romania, in Bulgaria, in different countries, but separately. And now we are, you know, just seeing that uh, it's going to be combined, it's going to be connected and we are uh, preparing a network like a constellation in the sky. So um, I want to appreciate that and congratulate you. And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, the absence of Iranian students in this meeting, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, is uh, upsetting me, unfortunately, because of the bad circumstances that we are facing in Iran. And uh, please don't forget Iranian students right now. And I hope, I hope uh, very soon in near future, uh, the network for students 
around the world uh, can be uh, you know more and uh, you know more positive and more uh, involved so thank you again and congratulations to you all greeting from Iran thank you Madi. thank you Tomita uh, so thank you very much so uh, thank you very much for very important message to all of us. So regardless of um, internet uh, problem and um, regardless of the, okay, so so-called political problems. So we can have the network, we can um, maintain the network of teachers, network of students, a network of um, education uh, because we are all living together on this planet Earth. So this is the, the ultimate goal of the astronomy education. So um, sometimes, and not sometimes, frequently, we have um, a lot of problems uh, economically, politically, um, technologically, and now we have the, uh, still have the pandemic problems. But uh, we can... Um, exchange the idea we can exchange the the information we can start up the new joint research program we can um, start the new uh, friendship connection so using this kind of uh, meeting so it's very happy to all of us to have this kind of meeting so uh, thank you very much uh Hossein and Madi uh for the very Hello, important Mariam. message uh, okay Mariam okay Yes, just, just, just mentioning all of the names, you know, that uh, are working right now in this situation in Iran to help students and you know, society. Unfortunately, um, you know, thank you, Tomita san for your kind words. I just want to mention again that I believe that, uh, you know, um, uh, how to say that, you know, um, sometimes it's it's uh, very difficult to, you know, help uh, students and society uh, to, you know, uh, follow their futures because uh, sometimes uh, they they try to fight for their rights, and um, I don't know when and how, you know, we can continue our activities with the students in Iran, but. Um, I just want to thank you all again and say that um, the Iranian students uh, have had a very, very important role of these international activities. And uh, just to you know remember them and never forget that uh, their hearts are with you now, and uh, they're just you know can. They are not just able to be here. Just thank you. Thank you very much, Madi. So the importance of the international friendship is also the same as in all countries, including Japan and other countries. So thank you very much. And we are very happy to uh, meet you, Madi and Hossein and other Iranian colleagues here so uh, regardless of the internet uh, problems. So uh, it's very good news. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, if uh, all of uh, you don't have uh, any question or comments, then so we can go to the next round uh, from Bulgaria. From Bulgaria. Uh, Ivo joking. Uh, okay, so you are here. So every time, so you are here. So thank you very much. And uh, you are now uh, with the colleagues of the, the European Research Night. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, if uh, I wish I could uh, join the, <laughs> the, the, the research night. Okay, so anyway, so uh, uh, mm -hmm. the stage is for you. Okay, so please uh, go ahead, Eva Joaquin. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Akihiko. Uh, I, 
just uh, now share my screen. Can you see? Yes, I clearly see. Yeah, just a few seconds to start. Yeah, okay. So, uh, hello everybody. Um, for me, it's a great pleasure to participate again in uh, this uh, great event. Thank you, Akihiko, for uh, invitation to, uh, to this event. I will talking about European Research 9 2022 in Bulgaria. Exactly now, in September, 30th of September, is a European Research Night. A night uh, the motto of this year in Bulgaria is uh, um, search uh, science plus art plus uh, in, uh, a science plus art plus environment plus, plus art equal to resilience. Uh, the main topic is a glass, but all, not only glass, um, science, general science. So the, for me, as an uh, associate partner, Municipal Center for Extracurricular Activities, uh, Municipality of Dona Mitropolia, uh, is uh, this is to, to, to put close science to, to citizens, to parents, to students, to children, to explain them what doing uh, scientists, uh, what is a, a doing astronomer, physicist, chemist, uh, what is the new technology uh, in uh, not only in Bulgaria or in Europe, all the the the, the world. So uh, this is was uh, exactly yesterday. This is uh, art uh, workshop with students from high school, in my birthplace, Trstenik with uh, students from fifth grade, very nice students. And we make art uh, workshop with special um, paint, uh, to a cup of glasses uh, and explain, I explain how to produce uh, glass, uh, chemical and physical pr processes for, uh, for this, um, for, for glass. Also, students was very happy to uh, understand then what uh, is uh, why uh, the glass is very important for astronomers and uh, for example for uh, bird watching for ornithologists uh, and students uh, give answer uh, yes this is important because uh, the lenses for telescope made from glass uh, and for uh, binoculars we observe birds nature so we here uh, our activity um, projection of the sun uh, white uh, in at a white ecran with uh, telescope we observe it, uh, two three spots is very happy very surprised wow we, there is a spot on the sun <laughs> how to I, I have to explain start to explain what is the sun spot this was uh, very, very interesting. This is, was uh, before two years. Uh, refresh, refresh was uh, the main photo of official opening uh, with the deputy mayor of the municipality of Dona Mitropolia in uh, our municipality. I organizing workshop for uh, kindergarten, ch children from kindergarten and students uh, from different uh, cities we have uh, in our municipality, eight schools, small villages, that students was very happy to, to, <laughs> to catch science, uh, to participate in uh, here, for example, was uh, light in our everyday uh, life. Very, very interesting in, uh, experiment with, uh, with light. Mm, also here, uh, for example, how to make a spectroscope from pizza box. <laughs> and for from old CD, students uh, can observe uh, the rainbow, the specter of the, 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 the light. Also, uh, we uh, made uh, ex exhibition because I am uh, also uh, ambassador, Dar Dar Dark Sky ambassador for Bulgarian and national representative for uh, International uh, Day of Light and uh, very, very interesting uh, exhibition. Uh, star environment uh, here also another very interesting activity in regional museum of pleven with dr bojidar stefanov 
to explain the the way of the water uh how to clean water uh, what is the problem uh, chemicals uh, pollution uh, of uh, of the water really very very interesting and uh, this year uh, during national astro party which we organize it more than 18 19 years we participated the main topic was latitude for travel traveling and navigate NASA project and International Astronomy Union. Students produce uh, set boxes for my students from Astro Club uh, at Municipal Center for Extracurricular Activities for uh, teachers and students from all uh, country. This is national activity under the patronage of Ministry of Science and Education. And we measure um, latitude with the, the polar star and uh, the sun really expressive, very, very, very useful, interesting uh, project. And um, of course, art. Uh, as a member, uh, I'm a member of Executive Council of European Association for Astronomy Education and coordinator of uh, this very beautiful, very nice project for students, Space Art. This is from last year, but we will open again in December. We receive more than 600 uh, works uh, from all the, the world. So, Check the information in uh, European Association for Astronomy Education website and uh, please participate in this uh, I will, uh, this project. I will be very happy to if you uh, receive uh, students' work from your country. Thank you for your attention. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, introducing the, the European Research Night. So um, you uh, um, introduced the, the website of the, the European uh, Astronomy Association. So, um, okay, so if my uh, memory uh, do not work. So uh, anyway, so is it uh, all right for Japanese students to submit the photos or records to the uh, European website? Yeah, yeah, I will publish, we will publish uh, email. Yeah, all students from all the world, all okay. the world can participate. This is not the only European uh, competition and contest for uh, drawing, uh, drawing. So please participate. <laughs> we will be happy uh, if you will receive. Yeah, okay. also, uh, there is another very, very interesting project, Catch a Star. We open again very very useful very interesting so follow the information from european association for astronomy education okay thank you very much so uh nakashibetsu no koko no mira san sore kara kishimoto sensei no tokoro ano eh to nihon kara mo ano yoroppa no eh project ni iroiro oubo dekiru sou desu no de ano mata tanoshimi ni shimashou Okay, so uh, even so, I um, was calling to Japanese students. Uh, so uh, I encourage the uh, Japanese students to 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 submit <laughs> their nice photos or nice records to uh, to the European Association of Astronomy Education. So thank you very much for your kind introduction of the association. Okay, so uh, do you have any comments or, uh, okay, so the time is very limited. So is it okay to go to Romania? Okay. Okay, okay. we may start. Okay. So hello everyone. Okay. I'm happy to be here. I'm going to fill in today for uh, Miss uh, Nagiana. So she regrets not being here. She's really, really busy at work today. And she asked me to warmly greet everyone present here. Okay. And before I start introducing our nine teams, hopefully, uh, I'm going to tell you some short facts about them. So there are nine teams coming from various backgrounds. Uh, we have three uh, secondary schools or gymnasium schools. So that is uh, up to 14 year olds. Uh, we also have uh, five uh, high schools or colleges. So that is 14 or 15 towards 18, 19 year olds. 
And we have uh, what we call children's palace, which is rather a cluster of clubs where teenager kids can go in their free time uh, to pursue their passions. Also in terms of, um, well, geographically speaking, they also come from various uh, backgrounds. So we have schools from the rural areas, uh, also from the capital and uh, from various other towns from Romania. So that was the general presentation. So shall we start? Patricia, please go ahead. Okay, so uh, our first team is uh, the gymnasium or the secondary school, Sfinti Voyevos from Bucharest. Hello. You may start. Hello. Hi, hello. Hey, uh, I've presented my screen. So I am Agape Kostin Luca from Sfinti Voyevos Secondary School. And today I want to present the, uh, my presentation about the 2022 autumnal equinox. So what is the autumnal equinox? The autumnal equinox is the exact time when our planet will reach the point in its orbit when its axis isn't tilted relative to the sun meaning that the northern and, and southern hemisphere receive an equal amount of sun during the day. The, this year's autumnal equinox starts on September 23rd. After the equinox days start, uh, after the equinox, they start to get shorter and the nights longer as we orbit towards winter. The moon also appears bigger than usual due to the Earth's position around the equinox. On the day of the equinox, daytime and nighttime are of approximately equal duration all over the planet. They are not exactly equal due to the angular size of the sun, atmospheric refraction, and the rapidly changing duration of the length of the day that occurs at most latitudes around the equinoxes. Long before comprehending this equality, primitive equatorial cultures noted that the day of the sun rises even east and sets even west, and indeed this happens on the day closest to the astronomically defined event. As a consequence, according to a properly structured and aligned sun sundial, an instrument showing the time by a shadow, the daytime duration is 12 hours. All around the world, the September equinox is celebrated in similar ways. In China, a mid-autumn festival relating to the harvest is celebrated. In South Korea, Shusa, a type of Thanksgiving, is held. Meanwhile, in Southern California, the Chumash a Native American tribe celebrates Hutash, a sun ceremony that coincides with the autumn equinox. And here I have presented some of uh, the drawings made by my classmates. Here are some too and my sources for my presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That was a very nice presentation. Wow. Uh, next, it's my school. It's Energetic Technical College from Sibiu. Yes, hello, we are going to show our presentation now. Uh, but you need to stop your presentation first, your share screen, so that we can. Okay. Yes, yes. A second.
So, um, hello, I'm uh, David, and these are my colleagues, Alexander and uh, Christian. We are students from the Energy and Technical College from Sibiu, and we are very pleased to take part in this project. We love the fact that we can meet people with the same passions as ours. And as they say, the sky has no limits and it's a place where we can all meet. Before we show our presentation, you should know that uh, so far astronomy hasn't been part of the national curriculum, but that didn't stop us from uh, following our dreams by doing various extracurricular activities, such as taking part in the World Space Week on a national level. Today, we are going to present some of our traditions and customs from Romania that we respect with the occasion of the autumnal equinox. As anyone knows, the autumnal equinox is the moment when the sun appears to cross the celestial equator, heading southwards, that happened on the 23rd of September. The September equinox has lots of signification for the nations all across the globe. And in Romania, it symbolizes a balance between light and dark, between masculine and feminine, between life and death. This date has a practical approach to us since villagers in Romania didn't have access to calendars and this was their way to see how the summer is ending. Since Romania is a religious country, the people have loved and respected traditions and customs our ancestors have practiced for a long time, uh, still being practiced, practiced to this day. For example, the villagers have to take fruits and vegetables to the priest at the church. The priest then are will bless all the food that the villagers bring. After that, it is believed that the food uh, blessed by the priest gets healing powers. They eat the food throughout the whole year, and the food is believed to heal their body and the soul. Other examples of traditions are all based on uh, loving and appreciating uh, nature itself. Some of these are crying flowers at the monastery. It is said that in this holy day, all the flowers are crying because the winter is coming and their time has passed, but they can be saved by the villagers and the priest's blessing. Another custom is the autumn praising shrine. It's a holy ritual where all the villagers are gathering up next to a fruit shrine. They meditate and, meditate and talk about the balance between uh, life and nature. Yet another example is the first harvest of the season. The traditions are forcing all the villagers to make wine from the first harvest of the season. The drink that comes from the first batch of grapes is a special kind because it is said to heal the soul and keep the villagers at peace after they drink from it. There are also some weather superstitions which belong to our folk wisdom. Old people in the countryside will always know that the rainy morning means the following spring will be a rainy one that the thunders indicate the autumn will be long, and if the afternoon is sunny, that means the next year will be droughty. And fun fact, for example, is the oakworm. It is said that the evolution state of the oakworm can predict the following harvest, if it's going to be a rich or a poor one. As you can see in the pictures displayed here, these rituals celebrating the coming of autumn are usually accompanied by music and dance. The music has the rhythm of life itself, with ups and downs, as well as the beats of the heart, which stand at the center of everything. Although in this photos is not very visible, our popular costumes are decorated with motifs inspired by nature, flowers, various leaves, or even birds. The music, the dancing, and the popular costumes have been passed down from one generation to another. Throughout all these traditions, the people show their gratitude for the summer that passed as a goodbye to the warm and charming weather welcoming the new season in a kind and happy way. We hope you liked our presentation and a special thanks goes to our mentors and coordinating teacher who work out with Daniela and Suarez Constanza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you uh, to the group from um, Energetic. Nice presentation. Uh, our third uh, team uh, is um, the College Ferdinand I from um, Prahova County, Moeciu. I'm Alex. Hi, Ellen. I'm Mary. We autumnal 
Equinox is an astronomical event that marks the start of autumn. My name is Laura and I'm representing the uh, high school. I'm in my last year of high school studying mathematics informatics. Our high school provides classes from first grade to 12th grade um, and the multiple uh, subject choice. We have mathematics informatics theories and also professional schools. Uh, our school has organized some trips uh, in uh, uh, some institutes, in some institutes in uh, in astronomy and science, and our students love it so much. It occurs in September. The autumnal equinox is the time when people step into an astronomical autumn. When the astronomical longitude of the sun reaches the value of 180 degrees, this time change occurs when day and night are equal. As a result of this event in Romania, the sun shines between the zenith and the orient. The line of the night is increasing, and the light of the day is creeping. Until the next important astronomical event, namely the winter solstice, which takes place on December 21. As a result of the autumnal equinox in the North Hemisphere, the night, the duration of the night is uh, six months, and in the South Hemisphere, the spring season begins with the duration of the day also of six months. Another event similar to the autumn equinox is the spring equinox which takes place on March 21. On that day, the sun will rise from the cardinal point of sunrise east and set at the cardinal point of sunset west. My name is Mel. My name is Ellen. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. You are very nice. Okay, still waiting, still waving. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dorina Maria Lobons from Timisoara, also from Romania. Uh, we are the fourth presentation after Moechu. Okay, thank you. This presentation is um, um, on uh, emails. Uh, we were inspired by our uh, colleagues, um, which present um, uh, before, and um, we uh, are uh, students from Timisoara, from third class from Colegiul Național Bănățean, um, where uh, are uh, learning uh, 2,500 uh, students. Um, we are uh, delighted to present our exhibition, um, which uh, started um, discussing about um, about autumn, about um, um, migration of uh, birds, uh, and um, we uh, studied at uh, science uh, about uh, this um, um, science, and we um, make uh, we made a book about. Um, um, uh, swallow and other um, birds who are living in autumn our country and um, which um, are going in uh, other um, countries in autumn uh, to stay there in winter. After uh, discussing about this, we at science lessons talk about equinoxium, equinox, and after we um, made drawings and paintings and put these uh, drawings and paintings in um, this uh, exhibition made in uh, emails, which is a good um, uh, digital tool. And... Uh, 
uh, you can also um, using it at um, some presentations. Uh, all uh, greetings from Timisoara and from my students here. There are. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, great work, everybody. Uh, team number five comes from the General School of Namuresh from Alba County. Maybe. Okay, so here they are. Hi, my name is Luca. I'm in seventh grade at Luchan Blaga Secondary School of Namuresh. And today I'm going to talk to you about the autumnal equinox. So what is it? The autumnal equinox is the moment when the sun appears to cross the celest equator heading southwards. Because of the difference between the calendar year and the tropical year, the autumnal equinox may occur anytime from September 21 to 24. What is an equinox? The word equinox comes from Latin meaning equal night. Although contrary to people believe, the length of the day and the night are not exactly usual. After the equinox, day starts to get shorter and the nights longer. The moon appears bigger than usual due to the Earth's position. Signs of September equinox in nature. The knowledge that summer is gone and the winter is coming is everywhere now in the northern atmosphere. Indeed, if you live in the northern atmosphere, you can easily see late draws and early sunset. Also, observe the solar arc in the sky every day. You will find that it is moving southwards. Sim sim similarly, birds and butterflies are also migrating south along with the path of sun. And here's a little known equinox phenomenon. The sun sets faster around the time of an equinox. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, you had a very nice presentation. Uh, our next team uh, comes from, again, a gymnasium school from Negoyesht, Prahova County. Maybe. Uh, I don't know exactly if they are here. We are waiting for a sign. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll get back to them uh, a bit later if they manage to solve their problems, their technical problems, hopefully. Okay, so uh, we go to the National Pedagogical College, uh, Stefan Celmare from Baco, Baco County. Good evening. We are Jan Kulavinia and Luncano Costin, and we are glad to be here live with other astronomy lovers. Uh, we are from Baco, a city located in the central eastern part of Romania, and we are students of the National Pedagogical College, Stefan the Great, a large college that's been around for more than 100 years and with tradition uh, in the formation of the young generations. Astronomy is an activity that we do for fun, and in our extracurricular encounters, we have also learned uh, how to determine latitude using the time when the equinox occurs. On the 23rd of September in Romania, the autumnal equinox took place. On this date, from an astronomical point of view, autumn officially began, a moment that people in the area where we live associate with the departure of migratory birds and the harvesting of crops. This moment can be used to determine the latitude using the altitude of the sun. The latitude of any point on Earth can be calculated by subtracting the sun's altitude from the value of 90 degrees. For example, at the equator, the sun is vertical to the ground, the altitude being 90 degrees, and the latitude 0 degrees. On Romania's territory, the sun culminated at noon, at an average height of 45 degrees, halfway between the horizon and the zenith. 
So the latitude is 45 degrees. We propose that you calculate the altitude of the sun at the winter solstice or spring equinox in 2024. Thank you for your attention. Thank you all. That was really nice. Um, hopefully we can go to our eighth team, maybe. Uh, the National College Emil Rakovice from Bucharest. I don't know if... Yeah, okay. Hi. Um, wait a second, please, to share my screen. Okay. It's okay? It's coming. It's okay now? Okay. So we are the National College of Mirakovica from uh, Bucharest. And uh, we present you the Automata Equinox. So, uh, the astronomical event, which occurs on uh, the 23rd, of September creating a balance between day and night is followed by the long cold atoms, night replacing the warm, summer nights uh, marking the beginnings of the fall season. Uh, the fall equinox also marks the beginning of the polar night in the northern pole. Uh, northern pole okay. Uh, the polar night will last for approximately four or six months until the spring equinox begins. And the second slide, it's a Romanian tradition uh, related to fall equinox. It is said that during the fall equinox, the holy fruits and vegetables can heal and psychical wounds and any emotional pain. On this day, consider magical nuts, apples and quinces are shaken. Uh, they say that the last fruits uh, left on the tree should uh, not be picked. Uh, they are uh, for uh, mother nature. This is it. I hope it's okay. It is obviously okay, why not? You did a great job. And uh, our last uh, team uh, is uh, from that children's palace that I was telling you about, which is actually a club. And it's from Krajowa Dolsh County. Mm, hello, uh, wait a minute. Oh, can you see it? Okay. Yeah, we can see it. You can go ahead. Okay, so uh, my name is Victor. I'm from Palatul Kopilo Krajowa, and my friend is Bianca, uh, the one who's presenting. Uh, I want to talk about the autumn equinox in Romanian folklore. So, um, what should you do on the 23rd of September? Uh, firstly, you should eat bread before leaving the house. It's uh, believed that flowers are upset uh, during that time and you should anoint the flowers with holy mirror for them to become happy. You should let the last fruits from the tree unharvested. Uh, they are for mother nature. People usually harvest apples and quinces on that day and crepe nuts. And uh, what's the best not to do uh, on the 23rd of September? Uh, you shouldn't wash your face until the sunset. Do you have any kids? Do not fight uh, with them on that day. Thank you very much. Or not on any other day. Thank you, guys. That was really nice. Uh, thank you to all teams. Uh, just the last question before we leave the floor to Egypt. If uh, the team from the gymnasium school Brazi, Satne Goyesh Prahova, has managed to enter? Well, I guess not. So that was all from uh, the Romanian teams. I hope you enjoyed their presentations. I thank you for them. They did a great work and I found a lot of things I didn't know about. So 
for me it was something new thank you thank you very much thank you very much so it's impressive and at uh, first of all the the all the presentations are very beautiful so uh, i i think uh, all of he, uh, you here uh, uh, felt the same thing so the the picture uh, the paintings are very beautiful um so very artistic so I think that the Romanian teachers and Romanian students are very good at art and craft. <laughs> so, Constantana, uh, is it true? So, I think that all the teachers and students uh, have the the score ten uh, in art and craft in art school. <laughs> I guess so. Um, unfortunately, some of them, especially in high school, no longer study art, mm -hmm. but they are very creative. So they follow their passions. And well, I can tell they are good at English. That, that I can tell for sure. <laughs> oh, OK, OK. So not just the astronomical photo, uh, but also the exchanging the, the painting or exchanging the craft art is the, another thing we can do. Uh, it's very mm -hmm. uh, interesting and impressive um, uh, related to autumnal equinox, related to local culture, uh, related to the the heavens, moons and suns. So we can mm -hmm. um, share the many great paintings from kindergarten mm -hmm. ages to the adult ages. So, okay, so next time, so we well, can- Maybe have the, like- Yes, yes. A photography exhibition online as well. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much. So uh, it's a little too late, but do you have any comments and suggestions um, it's for the great work uh, of Romania presentation? So uh, we have many uh, chat uh, writings, so we can, uh, yes, thank you very much. And the last things, uh, uh, very impressive to me is that uh, don't fight with children on the day of the equinox. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> okay, so okay, so uh, uh, okay, so the new message. Yes, amazing, very amazing. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, if you are okay, so I uh, have the small message from Egypt, Nayak uh, Somaya said about the teacher training in Egypt. Okay. So, okay, so please take a while to, to prepare the file. Okay. Sorry, my PC is not so fast. Okay. The message is two minutes. Two minutes long. Okay, I start the movie. Mm. Okay, here come. Okay, so this is the last presentation I have here. Oh, sorry, I checked the sound. Okay. Okay, so let's enjoy the two minutes movie. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Somaya Saad of OAE Center Egypt and OAE Nayak Egypt kindly sent us a report for today's Astronomy Day in Schools program. In September 2022, Sohag STEM School organized a training course in the solar lab at the National Research Institute of Astronomy and Geophysics, Helwan, Cairo, Egypt. The training covered the topics including nanotechnology, solar physics, solar cells, and observations with the solar telescope. The participants observed sunspots. This is a scene from the observation session. This is a scene from the workshop session. And this is a scene from the lecture session. This is a scene 
of the summary session group photo outside and group photo in the classroom uh, we all know that the teacher training is important especially in service teacher training as well as the pre-service teacher training but saying is easy doing especially continuously doing is difficult it is very nice that so many women teachers participated in the training course. Congratulations, Dr. Somaya Saad and all in Egypt. Thank you for wonderful introduction to the training course. Okay, so uh, this is a very short message from Egypt and a very impressive uh, report about the teacher training, especially for uh, women. Uh, school teachers. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions or the comments uh, to Somaya Saad, so I can uh, have your message and you can directly email to uh, Somaya Saad. Uh, she is the, the Nayak uh, and uh, representative of Egypt. So you can uh, uh, you can check the, uh, her email address on the website. Okay. So uh, this is uh, okay. So um, uh, so I, I'm very sorry. So uh, uh, but twenty minutes <laughs> behind the schedule. Okay. So anyway, so uh, at the last uh, and in the last of the today's program, so we can uh, we want to take the group photo on the the Zoom session. So uh, please uh, turn on the camera. And I can take uh, the photo on my PC. Okay. Okay. So in my PC, to in yes, in two pages. Okay. So. Okay. So um, uh, so I will say one, two, three, <coughs> click. Okay. So anyway, the first uh, I will take two photos. Okay, so the first page is on my PC. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so one more time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it is successful. So, okay, so the second page, second page. Okay, so one, two, three. One more time. One, two, three okay thank you very much thank you very much so um almost oh. two hours so um, i am very sorry uh, my time schedule is not so good but um i know that the time slot is too short for each of you to present uh what you want to present so anyway so this time many students joined this program so thank you very much all of you all the students here to come here and uh if possible uh, if we can have this meeting in person, so we can have the, the, the communication session in person from Romania, from Bulgaria, from Iran, from Japan, from Thailand. But uh, unfortunately, we are now uh, the, the Zoom session. But anyways, we can remember each face. <laughs> <laughs> so we can send the email later so we can start any kind of joint research and we can start any cultural exchange including the, the exchange of the painting exchange of the the, the, the anything we can do so um thank you very much so today's program and i will oh, okay so the one thing you know very important so after ending this session I will edit the recording uh, okay. to open the recording to the public. So if you want to cut something, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> okay, so Paolo, so uh, do you want to say something? Yes, uh, sorry, but uh, I have no time to, to say before. 
-hmm. But uh, because of the Narit and uh, even uh, uh, Komsan and uh, Bo uh, Boon, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, is it a possibility to have a workshop there about uh, uh, astronomy education research, you know, as I have told to, to Boon? And uh, if you can implement there, uh, could be in the, in the Asian region. Do you understand me? Okay. Uh, could be, uh, as a workshop, as we have then uh, done in the Emirates uh, uh, before the pandemic, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so in any time, if you can organize something like this, maybe next year or another one, okay? Yeah. Uh, so it's important okay. to increase the the astronomy education research, you know, to get the data and the, to to make a dialogue with the theoretical framework. Okay. It's, uh, important to say. It, no, yeah, uh, yes, Paulo. Paulo, uh, yeah. I already discussed with my colleague about uh, yeah. doing some uh, astronomy uh, research. Uh, education Very research, well. right? Okay, it's okay. Really interesting. Yeah, I will also discuss with you and Tomita about okay. Uh, okay. Some okay. of our activities, okay. Okay. which can lead to the research work. Okay. 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 Th thank you very much. So, uh, what I would like to uh, say before what, one thing before ending. So, if you want to cut some part of the today's uh, recording for uh, due to privacy problem or other things, so please email me uh, as soon as possible. So after that, uh, I will edit the recording, uh, which can be open to the public. So many people uh, who cannot join today's program who want to <laughs> enjoy the program and the next time okay so next time uh, the winter solstice december solstice so again the japan team will host the december solstice but after that the in the march equinox so if uh, any of your country would like to uh, organize uh, this kind of uh, meeting so uh, Please raise your hand. Okay, so next time, so <laughs> our country is the the next host. Okay, so anyway, anyway, so thank you very much. It's a little too late uh, for all of you, so thank you very much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody. Thank you, thank you. So one, two, three.